Hey, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna turn this, turn this light off. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, I don't know, I think my camera is having some technical difficulties. But either way, it doesn't matter. I am here, first of all, to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for the likes, the comments, and the shares. Thank you for uh, tuning in with me and sticking this thing out with me, y'all. I really appreciate y'all for everything that y'all have done. Um, I am grateful and honored to have you as subscribers. I'm grateful and honored. 44 on my timer. 1733 on my clock i am grateful and honored to have you you know just you know just come in and, and, and deal with me listen to me hear what i got to say because there is a lot that i have to say like a lot of us uh on platforms like youtube we're trying to speak out about the injustices and the um the just the ill-mannered behaviors of other people and so that brings me to what I uh what I'm doing this video for the fact that you have 133 on my time or 1733 on my clock before it turned 34 you have individuals who are extremely and absolutely malicious. Okay? Malicious. And listen, they don't give a damn. Okay? You got individuals who will literally not give a fuck about you, will go and lie on you, slander your name. Tell everybody you did this, this, that, and the other. And, and in some cases, in some instances, the person that's being lied on have no idea that all of this is going on behind the scenes. Which makes it even worse. Because you have an individual whose life can be literally going downhill due to another person's lies. You got individuals who won't fuck with that person due to another person lying on them about something that they never did. Something they were never even a part of. Something that they never got, would never even get themselves involved with. But you got people out here putting other people's names in situations that have nothing to do with them. So I'm what what it is is, and what I'm really just disappointed about is the fact that you would the people that would actually listen to the garbage. Without knowing the whole matter. Do you not understand and know that there are consequences behind it? When you're only getting one side of the story and not looking to see what the other side of the story is. But you're just going with it. So, I got to download. Okay. And apparently a female... Um, a female, her ex-boyfriend, her brother, like a gang of people, decided that they were going to uh, have a divine feminine ostracized and um, uh, tried to minimize her life. Okay? Now... From what I understand, excuse me, I, from what I get, from what I understand, from what I heard, is they did this without the divine feminine knowing. And, it, and what it, to me, what it really was, 
is when a divine feminine don't know about something, that means she ain't expecting it, she ain't looking for it, she don't give a damn about it, she too far, she too high vibrational to to even, you know what I mean, like to even give a, to care about anything that's going on behind the scenes, because you know, she knows, that divine feminine knows that the most high got her back. So she she's not even thinking about or worried about what the next person is is doing and saying about her. It doesn't matter what he's talking about. Anyways, so these people decided to ostracize and minimize this divine feminist. Like they could not, they could not remove her light, but they tried their best. Um. What ended up happening basically was, and it was, you know, the divine feminine ended up talking to a masculine who she felt like may have been a emperor, may have been a person that she could, you know, probably build something with. Um, her not picking up on the fact that now, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I, as far as I know, this divine feminine was set up from the jump. From 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 the beginning to the end, okay, like this divine feminine was studied. You know what I'm saying? Was uh was looked at, studied, and you know uh um her behaviors, her types of people that she liked, the you know the, the you know the types of uh masculines that may be attractive to her, stuff like that. She was studied. And so an individual was sent in to this divine feminine to, to get into her energy so that that masculine can invite his karmic lover in to, to, you know, to put her in a third party situation and put her in a, 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 a it's kind of sort of a mental entrapment or like a, or some type of entrapment. So that set up this whole thing, right? Um, and then uh, after the, the, after they set it up and like was all up in this divine feminine's energy, you know, they were stealing, of course, they were stealing light. They were stealing, you know, they were stealing her abundance. They were, they were taking a lot from her. And I said in one of my videos before, these kind of energies, they intentionally get off on pain. They intentionally, with 757 on my timer, they would intentionally cause pain and grief to eat off of. If that makes sense, they will, they, they use that energy and they will use it and, and until they can't use it anymore. But so the, the divine feminine, uh, was, you know, like I said, was with this masculine and, you know, she thought that they had something, you know, good together or whatever. Right. Um, and then that was the, the, the karmic the karmic um, uh, lover or whatever it is ended up, I guess, taking some kind of interest in the masculine, right? But before before she knew that the karmic lover was interested in the masculine, she fake befriended the divine feminine. Like, literally sat with her in the car, like, literally had conversations, was, you know, in the divine feminine, just, you know, so, so have happened. She don't, she, she ain't really, you no know, paying attention. She wasn't even that so, you know what it is? Divine feminine did pick up on something being off, but it was so small to her that it didn't, it didn't matter. Talk to school. So, what ended up happening was, um, you know, as uh, time and weeks went on, the masculine and the karmic lover ended up being together. 
And by them being together, even even though the the Van Feminine was, you know, minding her own business, you know, like, okay, well, if that's who you're going to be with, that's who you're going to be with. The Van Feminine truly, indeed, was hurt about it. Cried for probably like 10, 10 days. Cried. Because, she, you know, she was hurt. No lie, she was hurt. But, you know, she was spiritually led to just go through it and, you know, go on about her business or whatever. Like, whatever, you know, I can do better. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's how she felt like she could do better. And indeed, she could. So, um... By her just going on about her business, this karmic lover who who the Van Feminine said, you know what, oh, so th this was your whole thing anyway, kind of figured out that, you know, oh, it was all a setup anyways. She went on, you know, she she began to try to torment the Van Feminine, try to, you know, taunt the Van Feminine into doing something to her or, you know, just. You know, trying to get the Van Feminine to react on her feelings. Okay. And the Van Feminine, for a while, she didn't react on her feelings. She didn't. So, by her not reacting on her feelings, that made Karmic mad. Like, that pissed her off because she wasn't, like... She wasn't giving her the response that she wanted. She wanted a fight over this masculine. And the Van Finn was like, bitch, I don't fight over men. Why would I dare? Why would I do that? But <sighs> the Van Feminine is not always perfect, okay? So the Van Feminine, <laughs> one day, God, you know, God was, was, you know, drinking, was having one of her episodes, and she she started to have a drink, and was getting a little too buzzed, and got started partying a little bit, and Divine Feminine actually pulled a karmic move. She went to the masculine's house with the karmic lover there, and, you know, when she got there, she was, you know, so drunk, and she was just not in a good space. Okay, she just wasn't in a good space, but she was doing this out of hurt. And plus, she was being projected on to react in this way. And she made a mistake and gave in. Okay, but it took a while to get her there. Okay, I'm going to tell you that. It took a while to get Divine Feminine in that energy or in that space. So, <laughs> so um, after the incident. Of her going to this house, she said, you know what, forget it, I'm done. I don't, you know, the Van Femme was like, you know, I'm my bad for even coming over her. Like, I mean, this is my, this is a mistake of mine. But Karmic wanted to take it further. Karmic busted out the, uh, the Van Feminine's window. Uh, but Masculine was protecting the Van Feminine. The Van Feminine didn't want to fight. The Van Feminine just was just hurt and feeling bad as to why he was spending all of that time with her, you know, and make her feel like she was number one just to throw her away for a setup queen. Because that's what Karmic was. The Karmic lover he was messing with was a setup queen. She ended up sending him to jail, setting him up and sending him to jail for 10 years. But that's that's neither here nor there. That's a whole nother story. Anyway. So <laughs> she you know, like I said, Divine Feminine didn't want to fight nobody. So Divine Feminine went home <laughs> all drunk up and stuff. <laughs> and she was like, you know, like she just felt bad for even going over there because she's like, that's I, that's not even my that's not even her. You know what I'm saying? She felt like this. I'm, I got way out of character. That's not even the bad thing. That's not how she rolls. You know, she don't fight over a man. She don't, she don't. Let me tell you something. The bad feminists don't fight over men. We do not look to destroy other people's property to get our point across. We do not uh, try to, we, we do not do spell work to try to destroy another person's life. 
Uh, we do not butt into other people's relationships. See, it's a lot of things that people don't understand about divine feminists. And by the actions of a divine feminine, is you could tell that if they're divine or not. Okay. And so, anyway. Anyway. Back to the story. <laughs> so, you know, divine feminine went on about her life. Making, make, you know, making the moves, doing whatever it is that she wanted to do, living the life how she wanted to live it. And, you know, everything was not as peachy for Divine Feminine. But, you know, that's just, you know, whatever. That's, you know, that's just how life was. But Divine Feminine, she pulled up her bootstraps. Not understanding and not, not understanding that somebody literally wanted Divine Feminine to be in dire straits or live in distraught or or be homeless or be poor or have poverty issues and things like that didn't know that the karmic lover was literally putting spells on the van feminine even after like the van feminine was like you know what whatever you can have them i'm done if that's all you wanted but she the karmic didn't want just to 16, 16 on my time, and the karmic didn't want just to um, have the masculine. She wanted to destroy divine feminine. And she couldn't, of course. She could not. But it's just the fact that she went to. And so she went above and beyond any means necessary to destroy this divine feminine's name, slandering her name. Putting her name in murders that had nothing to do with her. Putting her name in in situations that had nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with divine feminine, but somehow, some way, her the divine feminine's name got put in, and it was from this karmic lover trying to keep the heat off of herself. She tried to destroy Divine Feminine. And for a while, for a long time, Divine Feminine couldn't, couldn't make proper friends because people really believed that this Divine Feminine was this kind of person that would commit murders, that would set people up, that would do all of these different things. But when it all came down and... and the most high in the angels, everybody got involved. They was looking like this divine feminine has never did the things that this, uh, this thing claimed that she did. And okay. So where I'm getting this from is the fact that I, uh, in my dream state, there was a divine feminine. Um, you know, she was, you know, working. She's working. This divine feminine is working to take care of her children. This is all she's doing. She's working, trying to provide a better situation for her children. Okay, this is what she's doing. Like, this is what she'll throw herself into. This is what divine feminine would throw herself into, even if no one wants to be her friend, even if no one wants to love her, even if no one cares about her. She's going to throw herself into. I. Ha she has the divine film. Film feminine feels as if. She still has responsibilities, meaning her children, her home, you know, their coping mechanisms, her her well-being and her mind and her thought processes is more important than sitting up a word about another bitch. Be for real. So what had happened was in, in this dream state, this divine feminine is working for her family. And for whatever reason, the divine feminine ended up having to keep getting up and being uprooted people were literally putting divine feminine out of this place and out of that place and divine feminine didn't say nothing she was just like okay well whatever i'm gonna go i don't care it, you know because i know i didn't she knows she didn't do anything wrong she knows she didn't do anything you know what i'm saying to you know to 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 bring this about so so what happened was is uh one person and then and it was people like literally over an intercom 
saying that Divine Feminine did all of this and did all of that, but no one ever saw Divine Feminine ever do any of these things that people claim. But either way, uh, it was at one point, at one time, Divine Feminine and her children were, you know, in a in a secure location just for them, and they were working and working, and the Divine Feminine was working to get herself done. Someone just busted up in the place where Divine Feminine and her children were, and this whatever this energy was, it picked up Divine Feminine by her leg and raised her up in the air. And Divine Feminine said, put me down. <laughs> put me down. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? And the energy just sat there and looked. It couldn't say anything. It didn't say anything. And I woke. I wake. Like I woke up after that, uh, after that, after that dream. And so when I awoke, I was, you know, given the information that, but because earlier in the dream, it was told to divine feminine that, um, there was, uh, there was some charges or there was somebody saying that she did this, 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 and this. And another uh, energy that was in the space of the Van Feminine said, why is she lying on you? And I'm and, and the Van Feminine immediately knew who was who they were speaking of that was lying on her. And she called out her name and she she said she 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 told the energy that came to give her the message that this is being said about her. She said, go tell KP to come here. And the uh, like I said, the other energy that was with Divine Feminine said, why is she lying on you? And Divine Feminine was like, I have no idea, but we're going to get this straightened out. And then after that, that's when, you know, people started beginning to ostracize Divine Feminine, started to, you know, think that she was this person and that person literally was getting her banned and put out of everywhere for no reason. Divine Feminine had nothing to do with whatever it is that this KP character said about her. She was totally wrong. So... Um, I woke up from the, the from the, the dream and it was it was imported to me. I'm gonna call it an import because that's what it was. It was imported to me that this person from a long time ago was still trying to slander uh the divine feminist name. And I'm like, whoa Are, is she serious? The thing about it, though, what what really gets me, what really is is you know putting me in a peaceful mind state, is the fact that they had an investigator, had divine feminine sitting in the dark. An investigator came and asked for recollection of any of the statements that was brought or made against her. And the investigator was like, they said, he said, recollection. And in the spiritual realm, in, in, fi, in the 5D, like a word could be said and it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like done, right? So he said recollection. Because I guess he was looking for the, the, the charges. He was looking for this. When I tell you nothing showed up. Nothing. And the investigator was like, well, I'll be darned. He said, well, I'll be darned. She lied. Whoever this KP character was that put all these charges, slandered this divine feminist man, lied. Lied big time, y'all. Lied. Lied. And whatever she took, whatever whatever she took out of the energy of this divine feminine trying to cause her all that torment and pain, she got to pay it back. You got to give it back. Ha. So, I, 
you know, that's this is what I got from all of it, uh, from the download and stuff. And I'm just, you know, I'm happy that justice is being served. But here's the thing. You got individuals out here who literally will feel sorry for people who try to put other people through all of that nonsense and torment. No, I'm not finna, I'm I'm not gonna feel sorry for you. Because first of all, you knew what you was doing. Second of all, you can't sit up here and say, Oh, I didn't know, or I'm sorry. Ain't no sorry. Cause you had ample amount of time to fix whatever mistake you're sorry about. If it was a mistake. But it wasn't a mistake. It was on purpose. And people want to make excuses for these individuals who, who, who literally will ruin other people's lives and get a fucking kick out of it. You, no, nah, I'm not finna feel sorry for this person. You was wrong, period, point, and blank, you were wrong. And now it's time for you to pay back every single thing that you put out. So, gal. I will get back to y'all about this story later. I love y'all. Hit the notification bell to get more downloads from me because I got a lot of them. All right. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Peace.